the effect of magnetize, but no. You only stun the guy that you roll into. Alright, we'll see. I mean, it's it's only going to make it a little bit easier in the other game. You, you roll in, you don't have to... You, you can't really fuck up the stun afterwards with the roll. Mm -hmm. Since it makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more reliable, I guess, if you hit the roll in the first place. Different story. Yep. Again, I mean... this character we're talking about most likely, so I think it's a given that C should be pretty good in that game. You don't unlearn your Earth. Ten seconds yep. It has changed a little bit. You didn't necessarily need to land the roll before. Now it's a lot more important, though. So. We'll see. I'm interested in seeing how Jerex plays this. After all, he is uh, renowned worldwide for his Earth Spirit play. So, Jerex, show me how it's done. And then Kunkas picked up. They saw a lot of success with that last game on Topson. Uh, he got crazy farmed last game, didn't he? He did. He's sitting um, at like uh, that, that, was, that was with the Magnus on the team though, so this time around you don't have this extra cleave to help you out, so maybe a little bit of limited damage. Well, but you're up against Phantom Lancer as well. This sort of cleave plus this crazy team fight that you have. Hero will certainly come in handy if you want to try and go for again. Trying to grab control oh, of the map, geez, which is certainly back. advised because you don't want to let a Phantom Lancer free farm for all that long, or else you just end up in a situation where hey. Uh, all of a sudden, we're 30, 40 minutes in, Phantom Lancer has a hard, a few extra items, and we can't kill him anymore. So yep. It's uh, a bit problematic. So, especially with the draw range, unless you want to go for the Lightning Lord builds with the uh, Action. Which is kind of hard to get going. Ten seconds mm -hmm. remaining. Uh, that is true. Uh, I wouldn't say that they'd be going for that. Uh, Sorry to build this game, though. Um, we can't get to deal with the Phantom Lancer. This is a pretty good answer to that one there. He showed that uh, he's able to play Kunkka to great effect last game. Um, yeah, that's interesting because everyone claimed Topson is a little bit of a... I'm not going to say one trick pony, but like three trick pony. Uh, that guy's but a green prodigy, look, man. The guy's a green prodigy, but he's, he's expanded his hero pool a little bit. Um, I think this is probably under the guidance of some of these people on OG. Having a player slash coach on your team like Seb is probably a great thing. No Tails, one of the most diverse players in the game. Yeah. Um, so having him uh, kind of watch over you as you're starting to learn more things probably helped a great deal. Uh, TA and Axe getting banned out in the next phase. I like that. Ooh! All right, this, this has been a long time since we haven't seen this hero, hasn't it? Well, not so Have you been I've picking... Seen, um, I've seen a combo with the spur break a couple of times. Oh. Of course you have. Yeah. <laughs> that thing's ridiculous. He ends up charging you at 2,000 movement speed. You don't even have time to react to that garbage. <laughs> uh, it's so funny because the surge unlocks your movement speed. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, they changed charge around a little bit. Well, yep. A lot of the movement speed stuff, so it's not percentage based anymore. A lot of these things. Mm -hmm. Darkseer still adds 90% though. Uh, yeah. So I'm not sure how the numbers work out after that most recent patch, but it's still, it's a joy to behold. But in this game, we don't have that, but we do have Earth Spirit, so you can just uh, roll in with the Iron Shell on top, all of a sudden, you actually have damage output on zero, which you never really had level. Mm -hmm. That's going to be some pretty funny shit, though. Just uh, the Spirit Breaker coming out of nowhere, like, faster than you can react. Yeah. Just yelled, NANI! <laughs> Always amazing. Mm -hmm. Again, and then, uh, right. Chessie, uh, getting that tiny last though. I'm interested in seeing uh, how this Dark Seer is played though. It's probably going to pair it up with Jerax, like you were saying. He rolls in with that Ion Shell on him, then continues to chase him down with uh, that Surge, which again unlocks your movement speed and makes you unslowable. I really like the change to Surge. Yeah, it's, uh, it seems yeah. a lot more powerful now than just the flat movement speed increase than it was before. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, a lot of the time it has the same effects, except a little bit more amplified and a lot more reliable, I guess. Yeah. Especially since it unlocks this move, so you can go above and beyond. Go even further beyond? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Infinity and beyond. No, it was a Dragon Ball reference, Dragon Drop, not a Toy Story reference, come on. go over 9,000? See, that was just out of place. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get you... I, I gotta get you into anime. 
God, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> Tried a couple of times already, remember? Mm hmm Birmingham and Hamburg? Yeah. Well, I'll get you eventually. That's, that's beside the point. <laughs> uh, what it converted you if you stayed at my place for TI? Yeah, I dodged a bubble there. Anyway, we are here getting into the second series of the day. Oh, gee. Of course, the only one who's here up against Helsinki Reds. Final trial the first. Let us one of the last three teams will be eliminated after the group stage. Very short, very quick, very snappy. Looks, uh, even later today, there's already best of three for the playoff stage. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna get through these qualifiers. ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm trying to ignore all of these laughs, but it's getting very hard. They're doing this on purpose. What's that? And we have to deal with them from both teams as well. All right. So Tusk uh, gets himself a mango early on, so he's got a little snack for later. You know. Yeah. Gotta keep yourself uh, nice and nourished as the game progresses. Mm, so it's gonna be uh, Tiny in the mid lane against uh, on Chessy against Thompson. Um, I think Tiny is gonna come head and shoulders above this Kunkka. I mean, the Cleave uh, now deals a lot more damage to Tiny because he's a hero that didn't have any armor before. Um, so having that Cleave that went through armor didn't really matter for Tiny, but now you have that 165% damage. Uh, that's gonna hurt a lot on a zero armor hero, somebody who doesn't get any uh, agility as the laning stage goes on. So he's got 0% physical damage reduction. He's taking 65% more damage than he used to against a Kunkka in the lane. Quick maps right there. Do see more of that, but yeah, um, for now, there's some laning shenanigans for the birds. We'll find you of fun. Bum, a couple of right clicks. Uh, are they gonna match? I mean, right now, Zep, he should be fine up against Sanky, right? Should be farming late either way. Mm hmm. Sanky's not really gonna be able to approach this lane, especially with. The, ooh. Is uh, stunning him up as much as possible. I guess trying to slow him down from getting to the lane in time. This is it's spirit, so. Much so. Damage, right? Just with the orb then uh. too. Mm hmm. What's the meat for the bottom lane? Which we got on there is this one on struck himself, even without the sanking. He eats the first blood, first grabbing that for himself. Now there's a rain rotation. At least from Jarex here. A little bit too late to actually help out. But uh I'm not sure he can actually do anything about Hans can I either. No, but he's gotta get back right away. He's gonna take uh, way too much harass damage here. So but as he goes forward, he still had that uh, ion shell on him. He can't really see it, uh, due to the color scheming on Earth Spirit. Got now roll with Miss Hanskin. Looking for the insult here with the stick charge. Actually stays live long enough. Slow down. Uh, LTW here, but he's gonna lose another hero first. Hanskin's still alive. Even with ILTW coming in, it's gonna take a lot of damage going back to the lane. If not, yeah, he's gonna die here. He moves too slow. Another lance. Slows him down enough for error to finish him. Mm -hmm. This uh, bit of a tactical tumble right there. One. Yeah, you start off uh, so strong in that other series. Um. You're not up against Helsinki Reds anymore, you're up against, what was it he called, the Princes of the North? Oh yeah, I mean... The Princes of uh, the North. Yeah. Alliance are the Kings of the North, I mean, they beat Final Tribe 2-0, knocking them out of the Chongqing Major Qualifiers. Mm -hmm. So, Alliance are the Kings and these are the Princes. Okay. Let's see. This thing pops in back under the tower, does a lot of damage. Yep. Yeah, so this is self available still. This is also region rune, by the way, so it doesn't even need to use that side. In fact, he throws out. Oh, he doesn't get the last hit on the creep though. He threw out that torrent trying to get the range creep, but he did end up missing it there. So they decided to throw Drow Ranger up in the top lane instead against the Sand King, but immediately, Final Try to rotates their heroes up there as well. <laughs> so they're not giving ILTW an inch. Hell coming back. Now. It's kind of less effective against a Phantom Lancer. I mean, not right now, as Frost does not have a double ganger available, but later down line, like trying to catch people with the eye shot, mobile combo, double the tag team, then Phantom Lancer should help out. I'm sure that OG are really finding the lanes that they want the best. 
Nothing mid here, final try. Tops again with the Ding Swell, stunning up tops. So even though he's tanky, he's not that tanky. Chassis he dropped low. Doesn't actually have any more region, but I assume he has the courier flying up. Me is gonna TP all the way back to base. Didn't have the money for region there. Let's pick up boots though. Has some shoes to get back to lane quicker. But I think Thompson comes out ahead here. I'm looking at no tail up top. Trying to tackle somebody, but now he's uh, snowballed with the self. Like getting some extra health back. Jokes also hanging around. And Final Tribe did not want to uh, go super aggressive on him. Mm -hmm. I was actually miss out on a few last hits here and there because of this. Yep. But this Jar Ranger is having an awful time. You only have 14 CS right now. You want to have uh, probably double that at the moment. Certainly not the kind of free farm that I'll dump your head in that first game up against the Reds. Yep. And it's super fast today. Still doing just as well as the Phantom Lancer, all things. Mm -hmm. But it's. I don't know, I can't really see them stabilizing these lanes. Not easily, anyway. No. Not even uh, Ducks here, or Sep here in the bottom lane is doing that great against the Sand King, even with his Doritos Chips Ion Shell. Take a look at this drag and drop. It throws Dorito Chips out onto them. Is that what it looks like? It's just the ultimate gamer shell. <laughs> well, yeah, you gotta get your denies sure the off. Americans will understand that one. Uh, you know what Doritos are? Yeah. But it's only Americans that have uh, cool ranch and sweet chili heat technology. <laughs> what? Easy, you wouldn't get heat? it. What, what are you talking no. about? Cool ranch and sweet cool chili ranch. heat. Cool ranch heat, that's all I'm, uh, all I'm hearing about. Sweet chili heat. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you don't deserve our culture. <laughs> sweet chili cool ranch? Yeah. <laughs> I I'm sure this, you make some sense. Oh, uh, Thompson has to be a little bit careful here. Yeah, with the Froshy on top of him, Thompson back under the tower. I don't think Thompson thought this one through. He's gonna drop again. Yeah, picks up that tree to chunk him as he goes down there. He's gonna slow down by the stone. <laughs> it's a shame it's not a stun, huh? Yeah. It's pretty rough. You get more stun at level 1 now, I think. Uh, you get 0.8 second stun versus the 0.5 that you got before. Woo. <laughs> yeah, 0.4 and X point four with the rock. <laughs> but again, they haven't really been able to do anything with that. Six minutes in, only kills in this game when all to find a tribe. The storm comes through from the centaur. Cross is up again. Actually, turns to fight. His hands get nice little pushback still. Oh, the man again with the silence. ILTW. Holy shit, he pushed him away as soon as that stun came out. That was huge. Yeah, this guy's a god. We saw him in silence. Uh, was it game number one in the last series? Uh, yeah. Came up behind three heroes, signed some wall out, disabled them, and right there he saves his whole team with that silence pushing him back. He mostly saves himself, uh, his teammates were home and also already because Varex started with that push away. Mm. He, he saved his team by saving himself, come on. Oh, yeah. He is the team. Okay. Certainly gonna need him to perform this time. Getting so much damage. Yep. I mean, one of the plus sides of uh, dealing with Sand King now, if he managed to deny those creeps, uh, he doesn't get the um, Caustic Finale damage, but Darkseer hasn't been doing that. Doing that is a little bit tricky, especially when the Sand King is two braces and a Quelling Blade. And Max Sandstorm, so we can spam that out. Yep, and get some magic resistance. You don't want to stand around in the Sandstorm with or without Iron Shell. Just mm -hmm. get in the car. He's out damaging you now, even with two ion shells. With the combination of both cost and sandstorm. Part of the reason why you see them switching lanes again, they both had to try to do his best, but just could be run down. See? Yeah, I mean, he's gonna die. Mm -hmm. And they can't commit any resources to come and help No Tail out because they're having a hard enough time all over the map. I mean, Thompson has decided he doesn't really want to get that close to the mid lane. In fact, he's pinging mid, he's saying, guys, help! <laughs> are you losing all three lanes right now? They are. I guess. 
This top right. lane is the most even, but Jarek's now missing that draw. Probably gonna yep. slow down. This time the sign's not gonna save them, so it's just dead anyway. Yep, so 0 and 7 so far. Oh, G against final trip. Bad. In this jar you're getting slowed. And it's the yep. case of the full of science, but a bit of extra slows with the Q, but that's search. Try and turn us around, but the damage is coming in from that Phantom. And now Avalanche coming in. Chatty looking for more. He's dead. He's super quick and low. will die. Do another, what's it called? The Grim Stroke. The stroke of Fate. Yeah. It's been called Grim Stroke. The Grim Stroke. Yeah. <laughs> Grim Stroke, yeah. <laughs> so there's the there's here there's Grim Stroke and then there's the Grim Stroke, his ability. <laughs> but that was a perfect rotation from Chessie managing to secure that last kill there on the dark series. Uh he tried to surge his ally away there and it forced uh who was that back? Uh Earth Spirit from forced the Earth Spirit back, so he wasn't able to turn around and get any kills there either. But again, he was front with the creeps. Mm -hmm. This tanking is he's certainly feeling like a king. I guess Vanguard, like I yeah, he doesn't hurt a little bit, but I don't think he would he really care. Really not that much though. Yeah. You got thirty seven percent magic resistance between being a strength hero, having those two bracers, you're regenerating fourteen HP a second because of that Vanguard. There's no cares here. The help from Chessie and Hans can turn off the Find silence over on Darks here, Inkswell ready to go. Oh, nice little snowball, this is the dodging that we're talking about now. No tail with the avalanche still. Preventing him from really making use of this uh, back team, is that? Except has got to be a little bit careful here, because Sand King is sneaking around the back. Trying to bait at this point with the burst shot here, though. Take a lot of dodge in the boat. Before the boat comes in, it's too late, actually save them. Also allow them to re-engage, so the final tribe get yet another one, another kill fed. Do the top of two, yep. three bounty rooms. Uh, Frost gets one on top. Mm -hmm. So three bounty rooms going their way. Everything's going their way right now. Then they're up 6k. That Darks here dying there as well was another 422 gold swing their way. What if OG are maybe a bit stuck in that last series where they were so far ahead at this point already? They're not really adjusting. I mean, they're going in trying to make these plays. Not really being ready or not, the heroes without respecting the damage output that the final tribe is in the world right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, they were, I think they were banking on doing a little bit better in these lanes, but Earth Spirit just isn't that great of a hero in the lanes. It's been a long time since it's been a good hero in the lanes. Time burst strike comes in, follow up with the as well. So much control, so much damage for Zep. Do about it. Yeah, I mean, sure they're buying time for Drought Ranger right now, but. Really, it's not enough. Because Phantom Lance is farming at the same time. Want to start thinking about uh, farming ancients a little bit more safely. Gets whatever laning farm that there is over to the other heroes. Now, stop giving the pressure off that one. Continues. I mean, as long as nobody's able to stop him, might as well stick around. Utilize that sandstone for all that's worth. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't want to do this, Tom. It hasn't gone well a single time. What makes you think it's going to go well this time? Just make sure that he doesn't try. <laughs> Alright, he thinks, okay. Sand King has no mana. This is the time to go for him, but... Enzikin peeks up around the corner and then tops and starts to reconsider his choice already. I mean, you're supposed to be super tanky right now. This is uh, Kunko with three bracers. He's got 2200 HP. And he's getting run down or run off, chased down by this fucking Sand King in the, I guess just a bug being thrown out on him by the Grimstroke. Radiance top tower is under attack. It's a smoke. Couple of wards here all over the Radiant jungle just trying to keep themselves safe, but there's just need help and everything is going down the top. So it's still taking time to get a few spells off. So this time, unfortunate pause. Is our Discord lagging? No, yeah, we're good. Alright. Probably just a Europe server. Are we on... Maybe it's not Discord. Discord lagging. Mm -hmm. Who knows. Either way, um... A couple of heroes coming in. Era with the chain force ready to go, so yeah, OG. 
down. Not sure about these shots. No one starts to cross the pit though. The big slow down, Chessie. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. The face boots with the blink as needed. It's all the control that's required. Yeah. And yeah, they're just claiming control over this raid inside jungle. Again, there's so many radiant wards here, but it's still not theirs. Yep. They cannot enforce their presence. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it's another thing that's gone horribly wrong in this game. The Drow Ranger, right? This is your only ranged hero. Nobody's getting any benefit from this precision aura. And that's pretty rough. It's less impactful now that it's just been about to be, but it's still more someone that can leverage that. Mm -hmm. Not in this game. They're farming up the ancient stack. This is just adding to the fear at this point. Mm -hmm. So 7k ahead right now with uh, 13 minutes. 0 and 13 right now for Final Tribe. Not a single so death. Again. Goes down though by the bucket. Now we're trying to run. Next time, walking in. There's a chain frost. Couple of creeps here. The bounce between here. So he's taking so much damage before he can even get pulled off. Follow up stun. A couple of right clicks here. Snowball across the house. Can trying to get the lost on first. A nice little vacuum into the wall. And can even get one? They can get one, but at what cost? No tail is dead on top of tops, and now Zep controlled up further. They have to go through one. No, they don't even have to. They have to dodge just ahead of it. They lose one exchange. Again, on their own side of the map. This is not supposed to happen. Yeah, on their own side of the map, in their own jungle, that they have warded. So they know where the enemies are, and they're constantly taking these engagements that they're losing. And that's another 700 gold going the way of the final tribe after that team fight. He's still on the board now, I guess? It was the first I mean, game after 14 minutes. But. Maybe they needed that. <laughs> maybe they thought, okay guys, we need to show that they can bleed. I mean, this, I guess this is just what happens when you pick two four positions, and all of them really have had any impact. Neither Tusk nor the Earth are really powerful as they uh, would have needed them to. They have to Tusk for Yunus Farm, Tusk Smart of the Sandstorm, so it's a pretty good play there with Vault coming through, four heroes, but Jonas Fun is still not there. I mean, he's chilling up a stun. He's gonna stun up four different people here. Nice little shot blocker preventing him from getting out. Small up silence. So it takes five heroes for OG. Kill to kill after like 15 seconds of fighting, it feels like. Raid boss down. <laughs> so, he popped that Crimson Guard. He's got two bracers. Uh, that guy took a while to take down, though. But he was uh, worth the 1,000 gold swing. Oh no. So if I spoke a little bit too soon, things were starting to look up, but... I mean, we're just grasping at straws here. This is mm -hmm. not the kind of OG that we're... Dyer's mm -hmm. middle tower is under attack. I mean, last series... I mean, again, this is... Again, last series wasn't really an indicator. It was against those who are... Again, I, I hate bagging them, so I just won't, but it's... It's a bit of a different caliber uh, compared to Final Fantasy. And it's really short right now. The X could bring Chessie back. Doesn't do anything to him though. Just irks him. In fact, I think he's happy that he got brought back. Because he uh, went back, healed up a little bit, and then came with a full bottle. He went to base there, right? I'm not sure, no. I oh, okay, my bad. They did get defense plants up top. Okay. They're getting a couple kills here and there now. Three minutes ago they had nothing. Now they brought down uh, they brought down the Sand King, the Phantom Lancer, and the Grimstroke. Getting Chassis would be amazing, but this tiny is way too big to be brought down. Might be getting them. This Jarek's coming in. Boshu's already up and running. The silence here. He's just walking across. I mean, he has Ace Jewel. No one can really slow him down. Mm -hmm. At least thinking about what he wants to do and doesn't really. Chance to make up his mind. Jonas Palm though goes in aggressively with the bonus strike. I mean, all five of them are here. Cell fuels, both coming through. Oh, but there's no damage. And now the turn on. God, it's double chain frost now. Double chain frost on top of the Grim Storm. One, two, three. More on the killing spree. Aaron's certainly happy about the way that one went down. Now the instant smoke afterwards. They want more blood. They don't just want yeah, powers, they want heroes. They're going on this shower here, but. LTW realizes they're up to something. If they're not pushing the tower right now, then they're after him. So he's getting the hell out of there as quickly as possible. But I'm not sure he's gonna make it in time. Oh no. Wait. He's gonna make it! 
Mine! Okay! <laughs> Guess that worked out. Oh my god, he just got away with murder right there! Oh, that didn't actually kill anybody, so it's not really murder, is it? Did <laughs> <laughs> you get your terminology right there, Nev? Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Say murder, and there's no murder. It's slander, that's what that is. He got away from murder. Yeah. Only one more kill for final tribe, and then they can't call GG on the other side, I guess. Mm-hmm. One three to two verdict. Yep. Verdict, not the result if we want to stick with the uh, the court metaphor. Anyway, chassis, pretty damn bombed. Blink, echo saber, plus thirteen. How do you stop final tribe? A bit of control from the corner. No, you don't have to damage that. Doesn't matter if it's your. No. Car. That's my answer to you. <laughs> Dodging the burst strike, is that? Playing Ring Run Rosie is still silenced up, the Yules. I have to watch this one, but no more. Keeps him in here, Jarks to his side, but he's not enough to error, but he's being healed up. Now and again, double chain frost! The combo with Hans can so much magic damage flying in, and this time it might be more than three with because LSW, he was part of that party. He is down. Grimstone will be betrayed, but Tom's completely out of mana, out of health points any second, and it's a full five man wide. Final tribe. Well, these double, these double chain frost are so good, and they can't separate each other until one of them dies. You, you have to kind of accept that, okay, uh, they're going to be lassoed right to each other because of how uh, Soulbind works. Two chain frosts come out, they bounce between you and the rest of your team, and oh my god, is it ever a disaster for OG. So much stuff. Man. Meanwhile, they're all being protected by the Twin Guard, like this. Nothing that OG have to can break through their defenses or even begin to try and break through it. Mm -hmm. But nothing to it. Gotta keep trying. This is smoke. You see the sandstorm here. Yom's crowd just bombing their own ancients again. They connect with the silence, with the slow. Self fuels, frost shield. They make things a little bit harder. Still has a crimson gun if you can get a chance to pop it. So much time. No one's actually walking in to help him, but is he gonna get away? First record cross. They have to dust it already. Right. Could have fought this, I guess. But Not too many Doritos for him to handle. <laughs> it took him like 10, 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, they can also kill Roche and back up that. Be good. Yeah. I, they're not gonna get away with this though. Grimstroke using the Grimstroke on them. <laughs> Sounds on the first grade here, so this is space grid. Okay, yeah. throws himself at them. Gets the attention of three different heroes to make sure that they, they can't interfere with the Roche. So it's actually, somehow they're able to get away with that one. Yeah, 400 gold swing for the uh, Jerax dying there. Uh, however, 150 gold to each person for giving Roshan. Extra gold for the bounty on Roshan and having the Aegis, so... Worth it. Jarek's realizing that his life is not worth as much as the Roshan right there, so buying them a little bit of time can be worth it sometimes. Even though it looks kind of silly diving straight into the enemies like that. Thinking, okay, Jarek, what are you doing? But he's actually a god who's buying time for his team. The big question is that, do Final Tribe care about the gate? Of course it would be nice to have that themselves, but I don't think they really mind it being on the gate at this point. No, I don't think that they care about the Aegis either. It does stop them from getting it, though. So that's one less thing that they can have when they're uh, trying to breach high ground. We together, Chessie, aiding the way in. Will expire. Self on Radiance high ground tower war. Is under this, attack. this jig is up. Mm -hmm. Stay safe for a little while longer. Yeah, and they actually circle the top tower, so that's what they're going to go for now. I think they realize, okay, the enemies are pretty deep into our territory, so let's go top, let's try and take tier 1, we'll get a little bit of map control, we'll get a little bit of gold, work towards our next item, so just try and stay in this. It's not looking great, but they're still doing their best here. Yeah, that's exactly what they do. If you look at the vision from Dyer, they have this much of the map. <laughs> so that's a good, uh, what is it, like one fourth? <laughs> You're doing good. Excellent.
Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. No, Yun's farm creeping in. Is, but she starts fighting up against Hearth Screws. Left to his own devices, rest his team. Nice little snowball off to the creep. The rules were set up. First fight gets a couple of seconds. It's a very dead no tail. Praise you pay for buying a little bit of time. I'd say it's worth it, but Draw Ranger about to die here. What is this? Is it Chessy? Free kill, that's the Aegis now. Maybe it was a Bades, eh? Oh. Walk in, they have the uh, X back into boat, also tiny. Jesse down the half elf, just trying to take you out, that's not gonna happen. Oh my god, they just got a godlike spree for an Aegis! I'll take that trade any day of the week! OG are geniuses! They couldn't How much money therefore I'll double you all of a sudden he's actually in in reach of the top three. Are you really gonna get anything better than that? On the draw ranger? Try the drawing line. No 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 no, but are you gonna are you gonna get a better trade for your Aegis yeah, there? I mean, if you die on Draw Ranger, you're just caught out of position or something like that. They traded the Draw Ranger's Aegis for a godlike spree. There's no way that wasn't considered. Right? There's, there's no way you TP in there and expect to not be gone on, even when you see yeah. two heroes on top. That's the 400 IQ play. There's the roll, actually connects on a Hanskin. Just gets three shot almost. <laughs> Down he goes, and they're taking a little bit more control of this map now. They do have to be careful though. Tiny is back up now, so. Gonna fall them back. OG man should turn this around in the end. And this game would be an example. Of and an you'll cut off your hand. Hey, what? Hmm? Maybe not that crazy. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say is that this is this would be an example, or an example of uh, the difference between a good team and a great team. A good team gets ahead early in the lanes and then wins the game without really taking too many risks. Great team can screw Loses up the lanes, the lanes. <laughs> so freaking hard, like they have nothing going for them after 10, 15 minutes, even after 20 minutes arguably. And then they can still find a way to play, still find a way to get things done. Hmm. Military resource intensive and once again, task running into three different people, but this is still... Space yeah. created. Yeah. You know where three, three other people are, and at this point they're not getting any more objectives off of this lanes. Actually, quite in OT's favor right now. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy to believe that just moments ago you agreed to cut off your hand if OG wins this. I did not say that. What? Dyer are scanning. You heard it here. My mouth. You heard it here first, folks. Dragon off will cut off his hand. OG wins. No, what's gonna happen? What the hell? Still have a lot going for them on Final Trap. Like these team fights, uh, I don't think there's a way for OG to really take them 5 on 5 very easily. Unless they get some DKBs ready to go, but. Rex. Holds off to the side, you know, this one fight breaking out, and pops and takes a lot of damage. Does go down in the end. Pop on here, but he's the old oh, toss back here to Snowball. Coming through, No Town, Focus on, brought down, but back him all. Turn this around, they're just. Turning Final Tribe's strength against them. So Chessie goes down to exchange. The Pirate Cups though, they want more. There it is. Bit of a combo, another double. Oh no. Man. The Chain Frost. Gonna start to bounce through. Not too much though. Right? So that would actually taken the last bit of it. Now another boat combo over on the Lich. Can they find more? Still feel like they need to here with these Bibux committed. They're all kind of low on mana and health. They have to retreat. Wait, they brought back on just tops in there though. They got Chessy, so they managed to hold them off. They didn't do any damage to that tier 3 there. So I'd say all in all, that fight's not so bad if you don't lose uh, Thompson again in the next seven, 8 minutes. Well, his buyback's on cooldown. They had decent defense there. It's been crazy how not more of them died. I mean, those 4k damage done for OG and 11k from Planet Tribe. Still like a 2 for 1 trade overall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you're gods, you're gods. Be, yeah, we haven't really talked too much about but the stocks here. The wall. Um, it kind of scales with your enemy, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It, the better your enemies are doing, the better the wall is. Sure, sure making illusions of uh, certain heroes is a lot better. Uh, somebody like Luna, creating a wall illusion of that hero, like, like, can absolutely destroy a team. You actually end up giving the Lunar Blessing buff to your team with all those extra stats and whatnot now if you create illusions of that uh, uh, Luna. So, it does depend. Phantom Lance as well though. Super handy. You can get your own illusion army going. Mm -hmm. Be hard to deal with. Yep. Yeah, the illusions actually end up being stronger uh, once you have an Aegon Scepter, but I don't think he's going to be over that this game. He wants his Crimson Guard. 
you would have any time actually to throw up the axe. But still both coming jerks trying to fight this, but there's another combo. Askin uh, with a double silence, double burst strike as well. They're gonna find one, and they're gonna find two. Jerex who just tried to help but now. It's helping a final drive, and maybe with this opening. They connect oh, yeah. this one in the butt for at least one set of racks is here. No Kunka for 80 seconds. Mm -hmm. He's down for an extra 25 seconds to that buyback that he just did. Uh, they're going to pay for this one with the racks, if not more. Back well, they've known their racks, but... without a blink dagger. He's going to have to... Okay, he's just walking in, vacuum. Only on one, the wall kind of in the middle. Not really what you want, but still kind of walking into it, so... Not sure if that's enough for no tail. Just focus down on L2W. Already died with the chest is blinking. Three and five situation right now. It's not exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. Snap, no more vacuum Radiant for another 10 seconds. The cooldown is still ridiculous long. The Glyph will try to delay this as much as they can. Jerks back in the mix now. Yep, Thompson is down for another 35 seconds out. They're not going to be able to defend this Rax. They might even lose a second uh, tier 3. I'm not sure they can uh, take another set of Rax before Thompson's up though, but. They're gonna try and uh, bring down the team as much as they can to take advantage of that lack of buyback on the Kunkka. Uh, OG was gonna make it back into this, it would require a perfect execution, perfect gameplay, and tops to go down into mid lane. No real support. Certainly not part of that. So from actually get stars back or try to anyway to put the vacuum, keeping them in. Couple of punches being thrown, but tiny. He's so freaking strong, and so freaking tanky right now. All these illusions keeping Zep away. The epicenter. I'm not sure what that one's about. Mm -hmm. to try and cover the retreat, I guess. But they got so much here from Final Drive. Two right. full melee racks. Mm -hmm. Didn't take two sets of racks, so I wasn't technically Dying wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna tell that to myself. The melee, so the range track still standing in mid even with 36 health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that thing's in it going down the creeps though. I mean, if you look at this network advantage, is that after the, all is said and done, after the dust has settled in the Radiant base, it's 25,000 gold 30 minutes in, which is... 26,000, you spoke a little bit too soon. Per minute advantage mark. Yeah. OG is still playing though, they still not completely out, but it's... The smoke pops. Oh, actually, never mind. mind, Dota Plus is 100% to so them. Really? We'll call GG, <laughs> yeah. Now run the road, baby. Big Cat's gonna respawn in 30 seconds. I see a fight breaking out before, and then Zep. Back and more, ready to go. They find the sounds on the arrow, follow-up stomp there with the center that they picked up. He's just keeping himself alive with the frost here as much as they can. With the first strike drop, Jesse take no frost in the back, just cleaning out there. LTW's dead already. Zep, trying to run away, the Yules slow him down. Third jump to surge. It's one, two, three down, Frost. Not prevent the TP from Hotel, but they got call the GG. Uh, well, final try. Win game number one up against the TI winners. Yeah. Pretty hard game for OG, but they did kick and scream as they went down there. Gave uh, Final Tribe a couple of scares, but. Uh,